Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for a new video. As you can already tell by the title of this video, today's video is gonna be a study tips video. And I know a lot of you love watching my study tips videos, so I thought I would do more of those, you know? And yeah, I'm just gonna keep them short, really short and straight to the point. For today's video, I will be talking about what you should do after your SPM or your PT3 trials. It's actually like 11pm right now. I can actually turn on another light, but I quite like this like dark setup. I'm just trying to create like a serious vibe. Not that you should be serious in your studies, but it's like you have to listen to me. I am your YouTube mentor. I am your online teacher. <laughs> Not really, but okay. <laughs> okay, so, so at this point, after your trials, you're just so done with studying. That was exactly how I felt. I was like, when is this gonna end? I just want to get get this done and over with like i don't want to study anymore i've been studying so much like it just feels too much at that moment and just don't feel like doing anything but at least for me i felt that way <laughs> but you know what guys there's only one month or a few more weeks to go so you might as well push it through i actually asked a few teachers that i know of and asked them for tips and advice on what they think students should actually do so i actually reached out to two teachers one is my school account teachers and another one is Chek Gusugus which is the um, YouTube BM teacher. If you don't know who is Chek Gusugus then you should definitely check him out. I didn't ask a lot of teachers advice because I feel like most of them the tips are just more or less the same. Okay my phone is hanging. Wait. I will first start off with the teacher's tips, advices and everything and later on we'll go on to my personal tips and basically how I how I managed to pull it through till SPM. Is it not bright enough? <laughs> so for BM specifically, Chegu Sugus right here already made a lot of k -bat videos, hot related type of question. And that is actually what I did too back then. I think the last month before SPM, I just binged watch his video for BM. And I got so much knowledge out of it. You basically just have to sit there, watch his video and write down. Don't just watch it. Take a piece of paper, take a pen and write down. He said that he has already shared some of the top secret techniques like the Technique 5.2, Circle, Lapel, or the BMK techniques. I have no idea what are those. You should go and check it out yourself. Now, as for my accounts teacher, even if you don't take accounts, you can still take these advices and tips and kind of like switch it around and use it for other subjects as well because these are quite general. And I actually think that some of the tips here are quite useful. So what she said is, do more past your papers. That is the most general thing because you're at a point where you already learn everything. The only thing for you to do now is to do more past your questions. Another thing that students always neglect is the objective questions. I do realize that I tend to neglect all my objective papers too and just focus on doing subjective questions and you should definitely not neglect them because a lot of those certain parts of a topic that you might have missed out, those part sometimes will be asked in the objective paper so if you do more of those you will actually find a lot of tiny little pieces of points or something that you never thought existed in your book that happened to me a lot of times so if you haven't started revising or doing a lot of objective papers then you should really start doing them now and if it's possible try to do the objective papers every day and so i know that um I said my timetable is like a subject per day but my teacher also advised to do it every day so you see what sells your boat if you are really weak at that subject then maybe you should do objective papers for that subject every day and also my timetable okay wait <laughs> I'm just really excited and also I'm losing voice it's like so late at night I'm just so those are all the tips that I've gotten through my teachers and everything. Now moving on to what I personally did and my personal advice for you. So my study timetable a month before SPM is quite different. Actually, I would say that two weeks before the actual exam, it's quite different. I will start creating another timetable for that period of time leading up to SPM and through SPM. I mean, it's the same thing. I will take the SPM timetable. It's so scary, right? Talking about like the SPM timetable. If you're feeling very nervous, anxious, and just stressed right now, please just stay calm. So for my timetable, I have quite a few subjects scattered around. I have like one week 
break before my economics accounts. Even two weeks before SPM, I've already stopped studying economics. I just left it for whole week that I have before the paper. So I think like three to four weeks before SPM, I've already stopped studying economics. And I know it's actually quite scary because I was like, oh my gosh, what if I forget everything if I don't study economics for like that? two to three weeks but honestly don't worry trust me it's still in there it's still in there this is just based on my year so I will really sit down and analyze the timetable and see how I want to set which day to study which subject. Just for example, SPM is on the 3rd November. Okay, then I will start writing from maybe 15 October up till the last day of my SPM. So for example, if I have signs on the 10th of November, immediately the 9th of November I'll put signs. I'll do those obvious ones first, then after that I will like fit in subjects on those other days it does kind of like put me in a very tough time because i have to really plan out which day to study which subject all the days before the sejarah paper i will always study sejarah alternately like alternately alternately there's sejarah leading up to sejarah itself usually every day i will still read sejarah i will still read my notes during like free time i only have these two weeks more with sejarah i might as well make full use of it if i want to watch youtube or play my phone i can do that after spm my five Five years in high school that I spent every day studying and studying all for this moment that is just gonna come in like two or three weeks I don't know when are you watching this all those other oh. Like, all those other things can wait. I won't tell you what to do, but I will just let you know that I created a new timetable. I studied one subject per day, but still studying sejarah every day. I just really minimized the amount of time I spent on my phone. And I'm not gonna let one day to pass by with me regretting for not making full use of that time. What else do I do? Okay, so you just finished your trials and everything and I'm pretty sure through those trial papers, you know where you're weak at. Look back which part you're weak at and then go and masterize it. Oh my god, my voice is cracking. It's just really dry. After my trial paper, I'm so sorry for my voice but I really want to talk. And I still remember when I was sitting for my trial papers, some of the parts, right, I still didn't know how to do. I was like, shit, SPM is coming soon and I still don't know how to do this. But I didn't give myself pressure. I was like, okay, at least now I know I'm weak at that. The way you thing and the, if you switch your mindset it can become a much more positive thing instead of saying like oh shit spm is coming and i still don't know this how can i not know this instead of thinking it that way why don't you think it like okay so now i know at least now i know that i'm weak at this part so when i go back home i'm gonna masterize it sometimes right your attitude and your behavior does helps in your focused and your stress level is not just how much you can read or how much you can memorize sometimes your mental here also do play a big part so if you're constantly stressed and everything trust me on the day of the exam you suddenly black out like blank so always take things chill live the chill life no stress no nothing and even though i said i minimize my time spent on the phone i do still go out and like have fun i totally understand it if you feel like it's so difficult to let your phone sit aside or something you know what i mean i totally get it but you have to try there's only a few more weeks or a few more days or a few more months to exam after SPM you can have the whole freaking year with your phone and by then what you want to do with your phone I don't care you go and do but right now study guys study yeah basically that's all so I know some people they have to like study in group and if you ever feel like pressure to study in group with your friends but you actually don't like to study in groups and you can't study in groups just say you can't don't feel like oh my gosh but then i feel bad you know what if they think i don't want to study with them then i don't want to share my knowledge no you just tell them honestly like i'm sorry but i can't study in groups i just cannot i have to study on my own at home in peace and quiet i still remember like my friend like they asked me for study groups but i was like no i really can't study in groups you know what i mean yeah 
what else? This video is actually longer than I thought it would be. So that is all for today's video. I am gonna head to bed now. I have a really early class tomorrow. If you want more study tips video, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Share this video out to your family or your cousins or your friends that you care about. If you're a parent, share this to your kids. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It will mean a lot to me. Alright, bye. Good night. Good night.